Okay, this is my Frankie Valley story. I'm working in the Archers, Fort Lee, New Jersey. It's 1978, and the chef, Sonny D, is no longer there. He was getting flown out to cook for Sinatra, and that was the claim to fame behind Archers. But this, the next chef was Serafino Monsueto, and I worked next to him. But Serafino had to go away, so I was the chef for a week. Now, I'm 24 years old. It took me about nine years to get to that spot. And I'm talking 12 hours a day, six days a week, and I'm finally chef of the Archers for a week. The most prestigious job in cooking in North Jersey. So I'm like, it's like queen for a day back then. So the maitre d' comes running in, and he's like, Miguel, Frankie Valley wants to meet you. He wants to meet the chef. I think. I said, all right, sure. Yeah, bring him back. Now I'm thinking back to when I was like six, seven years old, and I'm thinking rag doll. I'm hearing those drums, and you know, I remember crawling out on the roof and making believe I was Frankie Valley singing. Meanwhile, spaghetti's going on the microphone. I'm calling tickets, and next thing you know, Frankie comes walking through the kitchen, and I'm like, holy shit! Now he looks at me like, where's the guy who you know cooks for Sinatra? This is a little skinny kid. I'm like, well, you know, he didn't say that, but he was amazed such a young guy like me was back there. I was amazed that I'm meeting him. So it was really impressive. And I was like, you know, I, you know, I shook his hand. And, you know, meanwhile, I'm still uh, cooking and calling. But it was really a tremendous experience. Uh, three years later, two or three years later, I'm in my own restaurant that I co-owned, Picolissimo. And he sees me walking through the dining room. And he tells the uh, host, you know, could you tell Michael to come over to the table? The guy remembered my name. He remembered who I was. And I'm like, how the hell did he do that? But this guy's got an incredible memory. And at the time, my father passed away maybe six months ago. And I'd opened a very, I opened a very successful bar down the block. And I had this very successful restaurant, Picolissimo, going. But I was still depressed. And... I, I just candidly walked over to the table. Well, he asked for me, actually. And then I went over to the table. And I candidly just sat down and talked to him like I knew him for 20 years. I had a hangover from the night before. But I just was like, Frank, can you tell me how you handled your success? I, I'm not happy. My father passed away. I have friends with green eyes. I got these two killer places going. My father passed away. I, I'm, I'm just not happy. I'm not a happy person. How, how did you handle success? He goes, Mike, your life is going to go in waves and you better get used to it. He said, how would you like to be me? I lost my daughter. I lost my stepdaughter. I went through two marriages. And after all the hits, I almost went dead broke. And your life is going to go in waves and you better get used to it. Well, that was a lesson I never forgot, and my life sure went in waves, and I'm sure getting used to it, but uh, that's my Frankie Valley story, and we remain friends to this very day, and I hope you enjoyed this story. Oh, there's more to this, but I'll continue that another day. Bye-bye.